question number 13 from um, C12, June 2017, IAL. Um, question about trigonometry. Um, I was asked to do 13 part B, but I'll do the whole thing. Um, we're asked to show that this equation 5 cosine x plus 1 is equal to sine x tan x can be written in this form. So you see what's happened here is um, basically it's been reduced, it's been changed, so everything now says cosine x. Okay, So we can think about what to do here to, to change it. Um, we know a few identities. One of the identities we know is that the tan of x equals the sine of x over the cosine of x. That's one identity. And the other main, main identity we know is that the sine squared of x plus the cosine squared of x equals 1. Okay, so we can use these two identities to try and uh, change this into that form. So what I'm thinking first of all is let's replace the tan x with sine x over cosine x. Let's see what happens there. So you have 5 cosine x plus 1 equals sine x times, instead of tan x, I'll put sine x over cosine x. So you have 5 times cosine x plus 1 equals, now this will give us like sine squared x, sine squared x over cosine x. So that gives us sine squared x over cosine x. Okay, cos cosine x. Okay, now what I can do now is multiply um, both sides by cosine x to get rid of this fraction. So we're left with 5 cosine squared x plus cosine x equals sine squared x. So now we're kind of getting somewhere. We've got rid of the tangent. Now we've got cosine squared, cosines, and sine squared. Now we can use this identity here. If sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1, I can express uh, sine squared x in terms of cosine squared x. I can say sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cosine squared x. So I can replace the sine squared x with 1 minus cosine squared x. So you have 5 times cosine squared x plus cosine x equals 1 minus cosine squared x. And we're almost there now. All we need to do is to bring everything to one side. We can add cosine squared x to both sides, which in, in that case we'll get 6 cosine squared x plus cosine x. And we can take away 1 from both sides to get rid of this 1. You have minus 1, and that equals 0. Okay, And that, I think, is what we have to show. 6 cosine squared x plus cosine x minus 1 equals Zero. So there's part A um, done. It's just a simple case of just using these two identities in order to transform in from this form into that form. Now, when you're doing such a question like this, sometimes you don't know how it's going to work out when you start. So, for example, when I when I put sine x over cosine x over here, I didn't have any idea really how it's going to end up becoming like this. However, I know that that's those, those are basically the two identities in C12 that you're going to be using. And so you have to use them somehow. So you think, okay, of course there's no there's no um, tans in here, so let's get rid of the tan. Let's make it sine over cosine. All right? And then from there we can just continue, just let's get rid of the fraction. Uh, let's change sine squared into cosine squared and so on and so forth until you get to your answer. Okay? So it's no point uh, getting panicky if you can't see the whole picture in front of you when you start. You just take it step by step. Just use a bit of logic, don't panic, just say, okay, let's get rid of the tan, and then everything will become clear in the end. Okay, I'm going to do part B in the next part of this video.